Hello and welcome everyone, my name is The Clever Fool. Today I'll be playing Nobunaga yet again, this time as the Chosokabe. This is the final one chronologically the for me. Petals full. Uh, you guys might see them in a different order, depending on how I feel, but this is the last one. I've already done the other five. Anyhow, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at what they're all about. So. Their cavalry archers have greater range. Lumberjacks and farmers generate gold, which is insane. Um, we can train heavy cavalry archers before the other factions, which is fine. They're isolated on Shigoku. Lumber, rich in minerals. Fragile footholds. They're at war with Oda, Takeda, and Otomo. So Mori, so purple, orange, and uh, blue or purple and orange are our allies, and we're at war with yellow, red, and blue. So my strategy is probably going to be pretty similar. I'm going to leave the Otomo alone mostly, and uh, finish off red and yellow first. Then probably blitz purple, and uh, see if I can also blitz orange during that time as well. Let's go ahead and get started here. Choose your clan at the Imperial Palace. To learn about each clan, read scouts. The Chosokabe are isolated on Shikoku, but this isolation does not imply poverty. The island is rich in minerals and lumber and will equip the clan's superior archers. Their footholds on Honshu are fragile, but will be a foundation for their expansion. You aspire to be shogun of all Japan, but many clans stand in your way. Defeat them, and all will accept your destiny. All right, so looks like we have fairly weak footholds here. We'll probably come under some early attack. We have two transport ships. That's really good. Let's set these transport ships over here. And have our monk. Where is our monk? This monk is. Oh, this is our foothold monk. All right. Let's grab that relic and bring it back here. Okay, and since we have two. Town centers. Getting some early food is actually more prudent compared to the other starts where we only have one town center. I'll still go for a fourth fishing ship here. But we do have some idle TC time that we were going to be dealing with. Get a second monk here. There's a relic over here as well for us to grab. Let's have our hero scout our island. But this this uh, start seems pretty strong. We do still have the 100 stone. All right, let's grab this relic. Let's build another dock in between here. Will likely come under attack from the Otomo at some point. But we are generating gold with our farmers and our lumberjacks, which is a nice supplemental income. Our gold's going up slowly. Hi. 
Hot tip? Okay, we do need stone, however. Coming under some early attack here. That's fine, that's to be expected. Excuse me. Uh, something I did notice is that we do lack stone. Seems like the enemy is not pressuring us too hard, though. I think the priority should be. Oh no, we do. We should have stone. Yeah, we do have stone here. I remember seeing it from the previous playthroughs. Okay, let's uh, get some stone miners here. Alright, coming under some ridiculously heavy early pressure. So I guess I should have known that that was going to happen. Okay, let's get a university online. Let's getting bills out. Let's keep building the castle. Let's uh, have you. That's fine. We need murder holes too. We do have 10 wood uh, stone miners now. That early market rush was pretty handy for us. Uh, this castle will be super useful. Uh, we do need a blacksmith. Let's get that smithy online. Okay, very cool. Foothold protected. And Nobunaga hates our guts. Okay, unfortunately we've got a lot of wood. Golden comes doing okay. Managed to grab a couple relics. We should have two in here. Yes, we do. Don't really see any on my home island. Let's get Bosa out. Let's get a few bills of gold as well here. Oh, definitely could use heavy paw as well. Let's grab Botkin arrow attack here. Okay, we'll grab Ballistics Tech. Uh, let's roll off this section here. Pick up Gold Mining Tech. Okay, 
get another fishing ship out on the water here. Very cool. All right, that initial panic is kind of neat. We pretty much maxed out stone prices. I could have rotated some villagers onto stone earlier to improve that. Yeah, we're gonna lose a bit of our fishing fleet early on here, unfortunately. So this uh, start, unfortunately, has not been a free boom like most starts. That's okay, we've got enough res to go for another TC now. Our development's been slowed a little bit by this early aggression, but I don't foresee it being a huge problem. It's going to slow the enemy aggression as well. Reach the Imperial Age before the other clients. Okay, that's good as well. In fact, I only really lack the gold, so I can rush in pretty easily here. Hopefully no one's clicked up yet. いきます。立てます。立てます。立てます。立てます。立てます。立てます。立てます。立てます。立てます。立てます。立てます。立てます。立てます。立てます。立てます。立てます。立てます。立てます。立てます。立てます。立てます。立てます。立てます。立てます。
勝てます勝てます勝てます勝てます勝てます勝てます勝てます勝てます勝てます勝てます勝てます勝てます勝てます勝てます勝てます勝てます勝てます勝てます勝てます勝てます勝てます勝てます勝てます勝てます勝てます勝てます勝てます勝てます勝てます勝てます勝てます勝てます勝てます勝てます勝てます勝Feeling real cramped back here. What is our TC special tech? Farmer work rate doubled. Oh my god, that seems awesome. Let's uh, let's invest in that, please. That should also increase our gold production. Work rate doubled. Sure, we'll do this next. Might pick iron casting just in case we need more stuff later. Uh, let's do our bluster tech. Okay, let's grab hoardings. I want to do siege engineers as well. And I definitely want to start moving out and fighting enemies now. Delete these two archery ranges just so I don't produce units here by accident. And other than that, I'm going to just start producing uh, our blasters. Okay, now we can push out. Let's grab gill nets, let's invest into our navy for later. Sure, I'll get. Heavy cavalry archer. Might as well get some Parthian tactics online as well at some point too. Okay, those red guys are eating us alive, unfortunately. Okay, we didn't lose our trebs, we did lose a bunch of archers.
Okay, we are a bit slow here. That's okay. Got a lot of our techs online. Let's uh, sell a lot of our food for gold here. We're not gonna need much of it. Let's do Katapuroto tech. Let's do Yasama tech. Let's smash Nobunaga real quick. These production buildings should go before we do anything else. Orange is our ally still, we should remember that. Oh. Now our death ball is really getting online here, but our start is pretty slow. Still concerned that I haven't gotten a kill yet on anybody. That being said, Oda's position seems pretty tenuous. Alright, Nobunaga, your time has come. Let's do careening. Golden Flux is still coming. That's Kata Cavalry are definitely quite devastating for us. Well, our setup is completed, which is nice. I think having a screen of Halberdier will be a good idea in the long run. Down. Very good. Hop, you need 
は承知仰せの通りいざ仰せの通り承知ご命令を承知いざ王政の王政いざ王政の王政ご命令を上にご命令をいざ王政の王政 Yeah, I love how Kata Puruto has participated in these Nobunaga missions, though. The fact that my trebuchets can pack and pack so fast is pretty ludicrously strong. Let's keep moving forward here. Get our speed of Habadiers forward. Bring these bad boys up this direction. Yeah, I'm counting on the Takeda to be our primary enemy, enemy here. They seem to be pretty strong. This score is the highest besides the Otomo. But I'm not super worried about Otomo. I'm actually going to loop these guys around to the west. I feel like I need to start fighting a two-pronged attack here. I only have 43 minutes left. I still only have defeated one clan. That's pretty bad. Oh, 
命令をいざ承知はっいにどうせだいざ勝負命令をどうせだ Tons of castles, tons of stables. But our cred should be able to kill most, if not all, of these guys. Kakabuto coming in clutch. Okay, any more TC any more castles here? Let's try to wander up. I'm hoping that this TC is the last of it. There might be another castle further back here. I don't see one. Oh wow. Your uh, growing power brings fear into the other clans. They set aside their differences and unite against you. They too will fall like the others. Okay, this is okay. We press on. Where is my navy? This is fine. Maybe it's over here. Our new troop target is the Uesugi. I'll wait for these guys to bunch up before I reinforce. Okay, fortunately for us, the Uesugi seem to be pretty weak. They're just using crossbows, which our guy should dominate. So they're looking to be a lot weaker than Takeda. Let's take out this castle with the Otomo. Get him a two pronger here. Yeah. Alright, Usuki seems to be relatively inactive. Takeda was the more active AI here. That being said, I will probably would have preferred to fight the Takeda here. Oh, 
Okay, these guys are down. Let's come this way. Have these cannon aliens go here. Oh wow. Alright, so this castle that's normally down here was never materialized. That's good. Let's bring everybody back to our home base. Oh god, we're gonna lose this. Cannon unfortunately. And things are looking pretty good for us all of a sudden now that we've done the Takeda and the Usugi. I thought Usugi were going to be much scarier. They, they were scarier in past missions, but they're not so scary here. And in fact, these guys can maybe do a fast push onto the Mori. Yeah, the Mori have pretty good ships, so we should be careful. They're gonna protect. They're gonna protect the Otomo against us. That's no good. Okay, let's sail up. Uh, how are these guys doing? Okay, enemy spotted here. That's fine, we got a big block of archers in this area. Let's see if we can focus down the Otomo here before they reconstruct all their town centers in annoying spots. Oh, seems like there's like a. Oh, yeah, that's right. There's like an inner dock area. That's fine. Let's keep going for minefields here, maybe. We got 26 minutes left. This TC here. Oh, 
Okay, these archers make good minesweepers. Okay, let's snipe down this castle. Hopefully that's it for the Otomo. Nice. That is the Otomo down. Now all I have to do is focus on the Mori, who also seems to have gotten quite strong here. I think the Chosokabe one has been the most fun for me, in fact. Aside from Oda and Oisugi, mostly, and Oda was a pretty potent force early on. Aside from Oda and Oisugi, these guys have been pretty strong overall. Okay, it seems like there's a dock over here the whole time. Let's rotate these guys around. Be aware of any more minefields in the area. I do not want to lose my guys for the region here. Twenty-one minutes left. Yellow's still running a navy here right, by the looks of it. See a TC over here. Let's take out the TC. I know there's a castle north side, so I'm going to wrap around this direction. And the Mori ships are so tough when they're on the enemy side. Man. Okay, there is indeed a castle here. 19 minutes left to go. Still on the lookout for landmines. Doesn't seem like there's any. Other clans have been cowed into okay. submission. Okay. They are forced to accept your inevitable destiny as Shogun. Very nice. Uh, this one did seem to be really tough, but timer-wise, 
once you get the momentum rolling, you're in really good shape. So let's just go over what I did. Early on, you're going to get attacked pretty aggressively from Oda particularly, but also from Takeda somewhat. So make sure you get some defensive structures online here, whether it's towers or a castle. You can achieve this by prioritizing a little bit of stone collection early on, or you can do what I did and just buy the stone by bottoming out the market. If you do know it's coming, I do think it's better to mine the stone, which is in the south over here. Then you just get your objective by reaching the Imperial Age first, which will uh, pretty much make your economy very, very strong with the lumberjacks and the farmers generating gold. The problem is like you don't really need food, um, so you can sell a lot of the food for gold at the market. You really need wood and gold in this mission because that's going to be the core of your army comp. I did create some halberdiers. I do think it was worth it to do so. Uh, but the core of your army is going to be that mega block of arbalesters and cavalry archers. I do think creating some of both, having the cavalry archers kite the, the Takeda cavalry, um, helped a lot. It let the arbalesters do their job and kill the rest of them. So using both cavalry archers and arbalesters and uh, halberdiers with your trebs was a pretty solid composition. Um, so I killed Oda first, then pushed directly into Takeda. After that, the Mori and the Otomo, or the Ot Otomo were at war with me the entire time. After that, the Mori declared war on me. The Otomo did an attack over here at some point, and honestly, like, I didn't really notice it. In fact, it helped clear some population space for me, so it wasn't even that bad. Uh, the Otomo, you know, they're not going to do much to you. They'll maybe land a little bit, uh, but other than that, they're not a big threat. The Mori extra HP fire ships are pretty brutal though if you're not careful, so make sure that your navy is strong enough to take those guys on. But uh, yeah, there's a bit of like a two-pronged attack here. While your land units are clearing out Uesugi, you should already have your navy attacking Otomo and Mori over here. Um, Otomo can be taken out completely from the water, and then Mori can be taken out mostly from the water as well. Likely needs a little bit of help on the land, but once you take out Uesugi, your block of archers should be able to knock out Otomo with relative ease. Uh, Arbalesters are great minesweepers. Anyway, um, in order of least fun to most fun, I think I had the least fun with Otomo, even though it was the most challenging, which I do appreciate somewhat. Uh, I just didn't like their bonuses as much, so that ranks at the bottom for me. Uh, and then I think after that, hilariously enough, I didn't really have a good time with Oda either. Um, though that being said, like having cheap infantry was pretty cool, but the pop space issues became a little bit more prevalent with Oda, so I had a bit of a harder time having fun with them. Um, they were the second most challenging also. Uh, after that, the next up is probably... They're all pretty good, so I think after that is Mori. Um, their mines are neat, but not like really good because you're going to be spending a lot of your time on the offensive. The ninjas are neat, like they're all pretty gimmicky, but overall, like the extra ship HP and the cheaper ships was probably the best bonus, and I didn't really need them that badly because the enemy's pretty weak on the water. So then, uh, more would be number four, and then after that, the top three are all pretty fun. Um, I had a great time with Uesugi, man, with the, uh, the the super strong samurai. That was neat, having them run over everybody. But I think uh, Uesugi, Takeda, Chosokabe, they're all really good. I I'd say they all take, um, they take the cake for top spot. The other three are clearly worse, in my opinion. Um, the top three are pretty much about as enjoyable. I think, I, I, maybe it's recency bias, but I did really enjoy Chosokabe. Anyway, if you do Oisugi, Takeda, or Chosokabe, you should have no problems getting this achievement on hard difficulty. Um, even on Mori, it should be pretty easy as well. The only one that I had a lot of difficulty was on this was uh, Otomo. Even uh, Oda should be pretty simple, because I was able to get the Oda achievement with a good amount of time remaining, even though it was my first time playing. Anyway, I thank you guys for watching as always. I hope you enjoyed these. I enjoy them a lot. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.